Hey everyone, Zdef here, and welcome to Shootout Overview. You still can tell that I was just in the headset recording, like... <laughs> it's been such a mayhem recently, that I'm glad it's slowly finishing, going into Christmas period, though... It's just gonna start anew with 2024. <laughs> so Shootout is a multiplayer action shooter game where it's time to become your own hero and develop your own weapon of mass destruction choosing from a variety of modifiers and arsenals to dominate the battlefield. It's a good prefix to say that this is primarily a free to play game. So there's technically not much to expect in terms of the quality and overall the experience prestige, though the concept itself for a multiplayer title is pretty neat because it's pretty much a copy of Mother Gunship 4 though without any upgrades. You just have the parts to choose from and different combinations of them. I don't necessarily like the overall ambience because it feels very out of touch. Like there's no really immersion at all because there's no feedback for the player or the arenas seem relatively too big. So what you end up doing is more than half of the time you're just walking around to key targets and searching for enemies because the matches aren't really that big. What comes with it is chunky performance performance, like even Quest 3 was not handling what's going on, most likely due to bad optimization. There's no possibility to play with bots either, much like what was happening with X8. So overall I feel like the game needs some heavy polishing and tighten the gameplay to be much more streamlined and flowy. It's a good start cause there's some decent concept going on, so with proper feedback I can see this being pretty neat in the future. <laughs> Let's go have a shootout! Whoa! I didn't expect to come in a place like that. Creep apart. What is this? Some miniguns? Oh, we're gonna be building like a personal cannon. Oof, I don't know about the performance. There's a lot of frame skipping. So this is a uh, mother gunship forge, but in multiplayer it seems like. Whoa, <laughs> that's an intense jump. Interesting. The calibration is wonky because the floor is kind of like switching in. Well, I can have two modifiers. How am I hitting when it's not really attached? Unless it can be just next to it. Jesus. Where am I? Flying bananas? Kind of like a sandbox. The scale is pretty big, like 
Are there people here or something? Why I don't see them? I think it's just better to jump into the game and see for myself how this works. Prepare yourselves. So this is capture the flag. So we're pretty much building. I guess I'm going full offensive. It's so peaceful. Those are mines. It feels like a zenith somehow. I can steal the moon fires, I suppose. Where is everyone? <laughs> That's mine? I'm so confused. Change for a laser. I wish those parts would be more distinguishable because I can't really tell anything apart. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we have a new round. I think that's fine. The wrench is kinda crazy, but I suppose there's gonna be like a cooldown. The idea is there. Is Hano playing here? I'll take this, thank you. Maybe I'll find a match with bots or something. I wonder if I can even play with a set amount of AI or it's a situation like it was with X8 Cause so far it seems like it. I like that it goes big 
with everything. <laughs> but with that comes the performance drop. How they are flying? I'll give it a second go. This is OP. Flag stolen. Oh, I died? I couldn't even tell. Flag taken. I'm so confused with the mechanics and the jumping and buttons don't work always. I wish there would be just feedback that I'm dead. <laughs> Cause just the sign does nothing. The hell? <laughs> uh, I'll play a bit more. Jesus, dude, like, how many guns can I have? Well, four. <laughs> Interesting killing. <laughs> I think he's uh, like absorbing my damage for health, which is pretty cool. Though I like to play full offensive.
fast. What the? <laughs> no! Fast, fast, fast to the final point. Ah. I'm done. <laughs> I think the overall idea is cute, but it really needs some heavy polishing going on. The multiple modifiers for uh, base weapons to create just cannons of destruction. Very cool. And then each round you have different ones so you can create multiple setups. The game has some problems in terms of the performance, feedback and overall connection with the player because I don't really feel immersed even though I'm in a big space and there's stuff to explore. I don't really have the need though. I wish there would be matches with bots. That's kind of like a primary thing to notice if you even want to play the game. But like if Quest 3 is choking here, then it really needs some improvements. And just overall UI and solutions doesn't seem very professional. But the concept is there, so it's a matter of just development and getting feedback from the community. So we'll see how it's gonna go.